What is going on guys? This is Zayden and welcome back to Sons of the Forest. So, looking at the map here, we're at this three-way intersection of streams. I'm going to zoom all the way out here. You can see down at the bottom of our map is where we were in the last episode with the rebreather and the stun gun. Now we wanted the rebreather to come here. And today, we're going to be looking at the location of the slingshot and the shovel. So there's the slingshot right there. This guy's hands. Now if it's anything like the first game, it'll be really good for hunting small game, like rabbits and stuff. Then we're going to head into this cave. So everything we've been doing has been kind of culminating up to this trip here. Because we've needed additional items. We're going to go into our options, up the brightness here. So the first thing we're going to come across here is a, a pit down here, which is going to have a water tank, or an air tank, rather. Super handy to have. Take that cloth, and we're going to zip line. Whee! Alright. Now, I don't remember this cave quite as much, and if I were a better content creator, I would go ahead and quickly run through the cave and then load a save and then come back, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to swim down here. Now, important to note, your rebreather auto-equips in certain circumstances. If it's anything like the first forest game, it auto-equips in caves, but not necessarily when you're out in the ocean, but I haven't tested. So, test it for yourself, but in caves it should work. We're going to pop out here. Another air tank and a wetsuit. Huh. Wetsuit might actually be something worth mentioning. Interesting. I'll put that in the video description. Flash title. Then we're going to go down this awesome slide. Can't actually control anything here. It's just a glorified cutscene. That's going to get us down in here. Yeah, we wanted the rebreather for that first section there. You might be able to make it with air. Not 100% sure. Gulp down some pills to restore my missing health. Why not? Now I'm noticing that I'm w running more slowly with this on. Which is interesting. I did not find the wetsuit the first time I was in here. Alright, let's quickly... Um, Switch back to my normal clothes. That's an that's a nice little bonus. Yeah, definitely a huge difference in running speed. But probably makes you swim faster, which is pretty cool. I'm just gonna follow through the lights here. Grenades are nice. Now, one thing I've noticed about the game, and this may not continue as it has, but I've noticed that really important items are at the ends of pathways or in very narrow sections of the pathway. Making them a lot harder to miss than if they were just in the middle of a cave. So, like, that open room back there... Not a huge problem. Could have quit my wet suit, but this is a short ride, so. And I 
something over there. Out of my way. And here we are. And so there's the shovel, which is going to be important for our next video. Now, if you're anything like me, first off, check that out. Racks back out. So if you're anything like me, you're probably thinking, okay, so we, we got in here, we got the shovel. That's great. But how the fuck do I get out? Because we came down a big slide. How am I going to get back out of there? Well, luckily for us, we're going to just go back under this water here. Run on through. Where is it? Forgot quite how long you had to run. But eventually we are going to be rescued here. There it is. So we can see just up by where the, the slide ends there. And we've got a sluggy here. Hi sluggy. And that's going to give us kind of an alternative path out. <sighs> My guy is pretty hungry at this point. And there's a drop down so we can't get back up that way. And finally, the cave exit. So I made a save right, uh, right before that Virginia interaction. I'm going to do some testing to try to see um, about befriending her. There we go. And then if we pull out our map here, you can see that we're just over by the cave entrance. So that'll do it for this one. So all right, everybody, thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Feel free to subscribe for more content. We are going to have more of these location guides coming. And we will see you next time.